Hello guys, welcome to my weekly melting basket and my empties. I am preheating the oven right now to make breakfast. So if it does happen to go off during this video, just ignore it. Okay, so we will first start out by getting into the empties. First, we have pistachio from Rose Girls. This was fine. It was actually quite strong and performed pretty well for me for Rose Girls. I don't tend to have the best of luck with their wax. Not sure why, because everybody I know has phenomenal luck with their wax, but for me, it's just not really the best, but this was very good. Very plain pistachio. Nothing exciting though, so I probably would not repurchase. This was fresh coffee from that Smell Good Shop. This was like, I'm not even gonna smell it again. Very strong, dark coffee. And like, it was so strong, it almost smelled like a fart. That's the only way I can describe it. But Chris really liked it, so I'd probably repurchase it. Zucchini pumpkin bread from Birdies. I have a backup of this. I will always repurchase this. Phenomenal. I literally, this was so good that I bought stuff to make like pumpkin chocolate chip cookies because I cannot um, make up your mind from birdies. You guys already know this is my absolute favorite scent of all time from any vendor anywhere. It's strawberry white cake zucchini bread. I melted it yesterday. And the whole time I'm just like, damn, this shit smells good. It's phenomenal. Pink box of donuts, which is jelly glazed donuts and Lucky Charms. This is in the melters right now, but it's only been in for like 20 minutes and isn't fully melted. So not really sure but just based on cold i don't think i'm gonna love it lemon sugar and sugar cookie royale i didn't really like this the lemon was more like lemon curdy very sour not very bakery lemon so i would not repurchase that boom boom exotic coconut i melted this in the bathroom all week i really liked it it was nice and strong i don't go out of my way for bathroom scents so i would not repurchase it but it was good Remember the canned vanilla, browned butter, and cinnamon sugar. This smelled like a craft store on cold, and it smelled like a craft store on warm. I would not re-get that. We have Captain James Holden Corn Muffin and Creme Brulee. This was really good. I liked it a lot. You really got that corn muffin smell. Yeah, I would recommend it. I would repurchase this. Carbs and Cookie Land from Rose Girls. Um, this was okay. It didn't perform the best. I might, I think I might have something similar to that already in my collection. This was Cherry Almond from Birdies. Fantastic. I would definitely repurchase. Um, this was something I got in a D-Stash Tally Me Banana from Vintage Chic Scents. It smelled like nothing. This was the week prior's um, bathroom scent, Saltwater Mermaid. It was very light. I would not repurchase. I prefer the Saltwater Mermaid with, like, fizzy in it. Just a Blonde Moment sample. It was fine. It smelled like Blonde Moment. Diet Starts Monday Zucchini Bread. This was fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. Super good. Highly recommend. Would definitely repurchase. Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Cinnamon Sugar. This smelled literally like Cinnabon. Very good. Wood repurchase. Then we have one clamshell and a million scent shot cups. Okay. Camp Specialty from Villainous. Um, this smelled like perfume. I did not like it. I would not repurchase. That was gross. Snow White from Nerdy Wax. This smelled really good. It smelled like a caramel apple. I would repurchase. Red Basket from Wit and Wax this is my favorite wax from them. I would definitely repurchase. I haven't seen it available from them recently. I do check periodically, but it's very good. Boo to You from Fantasy Wax, and it is a blackberry, bubbly, and plum. This smells really good, but it almost smelled like a cocktail on warm, but it was really good. It's not in their shop right now where I would repurchase. 
Phoebe from Wet n Wax was the first real flop I've had from them. It didn't really smell like much. However, it was so full that the lid kept popping off. So I think that in my drawers, it lost a lot of its scent. Cherry Crumble from Wet n Wax. This was very yummy. Would definitely repurchase. It smelled like a Starburst. Gus Gus from Nerdy Wax. I've gone through about four of these. I love this scent. It's super good. Would repurchase. Cinderella from Nerdy Wax, Lemon, Orange, Blossom, and Glass Slippers. This smelled just like a creamsicle. It was so good. Highly recommend. Would repurchase. Um, per my thought, this didn't smell like anything. I don't have good performance from that shop. And lastly, I had Timothy Q Mouse, Strawberry, Raspberry, and Creamy Vanilla Taffy from Fantasy. This one was okay, not my favorite type of scent. I don't think I really love raspberry scents. They come off floral to me, so I probably would not repurchase that one. That is all of my empties. I'm gonna throw these away, get a drink, and get into this week's basket. Um, If you've been watching my baskets for like the last month and a half, two months, you already know. In case you're new, I'm just gonna mention it. The way I have my wax stored is I have three like tower drawers of my wax that's ready to melt. I'm working through getting through almost all of that. There are some drawers that are an exception. My bathroom drawer, my holiday drawer, and I have a drawer that has like my zucchini bread scents and it's like majority all of it is the same scent so I don't need to get through all of that but working to get through everything else and I've been having my fiance Chris blind pick for me like he'll reach in with his eyes closed pick something out and I will count make sure we have enough for the week and go from there because I realize with me pulling stuff I'm too familiar with what's in there and I will pull stuff specifically knowing what it is and that's less fun so this week while doing it I did empty an entire drawer which is very exciting it had all of my like pistachio almond scents, which I'm gonna be like changing the categories when I reorganize it. Um, and I'll probably show you guys on Instagram when I do that. But yeah, it's very exciting. And I think by the end of this month, I will have them empty and ready to refill. So that being said, I'm gonna jump into it. The first thing we have here is just baked zucchini bread from Rose Girls. This bag's broken, so I'm really excited to finally get to melt this. This smells really good on cold. I learned through doing this. I had a scoop from a different shop that was plain zucchini bread that I do, I love it even plain. Very excited. And I didn't smell any of these things while putting them in my basket. I've obviously smelled them before, but not necessarily recently. Then we have strawberry pound cake, pink sugar. This smells phenomenal. Love strawberry pound cake. <laughs> this one is Lucky Charms Fresh Picked Strawberries and Jet Puff Mallow. Chris pulled this and he was like, Lucky Charms. And then he smelt it and was like, ugh. So I'm kind of scared. But he said it's just because he was disappointed because he thought it was just Lucky Charms. I think it smells nice. All I'm picking up on is the Lucky Charms. So we will see. Peach Island Margarita Strawberry. I don't really like peach, so I don't know why I kept this. Yeah, I think this smells kind of bad, but we will try it in like the kitchen or something where I'm not spending all of my time. This tiny baby sample from the bathing garden and a butterscotch. It smells phenomenal, so hopefully, I don't even know if it's a big enough melt, but we'll see. I have a clam here from Fandoms and Fairy Tales and churro cart, churros and chocolate sauce, just plain white. Mm, that smells so good on warm, um, or on cold. Ooh, I'm so excited. I haven't actually melted any of this, but I've given it as samples to friends, and this is iced tea, lemon, sugar. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. It doesn't wow me on cold, but I'm excited. It's something different. From Fantasy, I have Grinch, and this is lemon, orange, cardamom, and clove. It smells kind of Christmassy, so I might not love that for now, but I'm sure it will perform well as their wax almost always does. 
we pulled another make up your mind and this is the scent that i have like an entire drawer with like seven of them so like i'm not concerned with getting them all empty because i only want to melt one a week strawberry white cake zucchini bread it's phenomenal amazing bridget from birdies does amazing work in that scent she's so sweet she was restock whenever she restocks it she tags me in it and she also told me she will always restock it for me and i just there is the oven and i just love that amount of customer service then we have this breakaway bar i've also not melted any of this i've given all this away because i don't really like it and it is salted caramel frappe fresh brewed coffee sweet cream and sea salt and caramel I get like this, it's not strong on the coffee and that's what I do not like about it. I mostly just get like the sweet cream with like a hint of coffee. So not particularly thrilled for that one, but we will see. This is Darling Children from Villainous and it's orange groves, olive leaves, and black tea. Yeah, it just smells very orangey. I don't think I'll love it, but we'll see. These melting pots from Simo. This is in Zucchini Bread Supreme. I have not had the best of luck with Simo, so hopefully these will rank supreme. They do smell heavenly on cold, so I have high hopes. Another chunk from L3 and Christmas bonus. No idea the notes on this. It's fruity. It's definitely fruity. No idea what they are. Did not look it up prior to this because I suck. Then we have this little sample from Sassy Wax Melts, and it is Patty's Patty Cake Baker's Man Pistachio Pudding Cake Ice Cream. Patty Cake Baker's Man Pistachio Pudding Cake Cake Better Ice. Oh my God! This is the third time. Patty's Cake. Patty Cake Baker's Man, Pistachio Pudding Cake, Cake Batter Ice Cream Scoop Bread, Mexican Fried Ice Cream. Holy shit. This smells really good. It's definitely, you smell the ice cream and the pistachio. This is a favorite of mine from L3. It's one of their charity melts and love shouldn't hurt. So I'm going to give the PSA that if you are in an abusive relationship, please leave before it is too late. Love shouldn't hurt. 1-800-799-SAFE. Seven, two, three, three. I'm pretty sure this has a zucchini and cherry almond in it. it. Smells amazing. Two more of these. Um, I gave some of this away, all of it, I think, up to this point. <laughs> so I have two melts of this in downtown bakery. I've melted um I had it in this shape as well, and it does smell good on cold, but smell like nothing on warm, so hopefully that'll be different. This was a freebie I got from Fantasy Wax from their Pooh Bundle, and it's like honey buttered rolls. It smells phenomenal. I literally can't wait to melt this. Christmas Tree Topper. Crunchberry Crisp and... Crunchberry Crisp and Butter Cookies. Yeah, this smells pretty good. You definitely get the, like, Crunchberry Crisp. We have a Butter Brew here from Fandoms and Fairy Tales. Probably melt this at the same time as that other Butterscotch one. It smells amazing. Literally so yummy. From Villainous here, we have Camp Blood Steaming Apple Pie topped with whipped cream. Yeah, it smells like apple pie to me. Chris said he thought it only smelled like cinnamon and didn't get any apple, but I disagree. I do smell the apple. And then we have six scent shot cups. We have one little baby one here from F Nerdy Wax and Louie, which is hot fudge, peanut butter, and vanilla. I don't smell anything on cold, so hopefully it's better on warm. We have Coochie Kopi, which is orange, peach, and grapefruit. It kind of smells like something, but I can't tell what. I don't love it, but we'll see. The Quenchiest from Villainous. This was my favorite out of the Avatar box. 
and it is water juicy watermelon peach slices apple puree and cactus juice so pretty so fruity and fun good for like summertime we pulled one of chris's favorites um we pray that this comes back this year to fantasy snow on main street and it's just peppermint candy canes but it's the best peppermint i've ever experienced so like nose clearing but also sweet love it and these are the two bathroom scents both from villainous we have lively garden which is snapdragons rose petals and honeysuckle vines it smells okay this one's pretty good though this one's water tribe and it's crystal blue waters icy glaciers and peppermint crystals it's so pretty mm. it's definitely like aquatic and you get that like hint of peppermint in the back so i'm very excited about that Okay, I'm gonna get everything that is not being cut up back into my basket so I can cut up everything else. Got my plate to scrape on, we've got the cutting board, and I always try putting stuff back in my basket all nice and neat and then it just doesn't work out. I'm gonna cut the bathroom ones last because I don't want those scents getting on my bakery because that's disgusting. Start with this one. I like the color of this. It's very pretty. If you guys have any of these chunks from L3, how many pieces do you cut them into? Oh no. because like I had Chris start doing the picking because I can tell what things are but he knows the feeling of these L3 buns now or buns these L3 chunks so he's like oh, I don't want more of that shop quite funny but then he'll get confused there's something he did not pull from this basket but I saw him holding it trying to feel what it was and he thought it was one of these chunks so we put it back and then pulled something else out which happened to be one of the chunks it was funny i'm gonna have to look up this if you guys want to look up on l3 under their sense what is christmas bonus Man. i've said it before i get excited over purple wax because i don't get it very often because it's typically lavender or grape which are both scents i despise with a burning passion I actually love using the L3 chunks because I cut them into four pieces and I have four main warmers. So, I can have the same scent throughout the house. That's the good old Christmas tree topper. I could smell that. I was like, does that have like blackberry jam butter cookies? And it has crunch berry and butter cookies. It smells a lot like blackberry jam butter cookies. Sorry, Winnie. Ooh, the cinnamon is like a cinnamony scent came out of that when I cut them up. sense next because um the birdies is so soft that it will stick now i need for these to cut nicely because i need to get them back in the cup i probably should microwave it but that's a lot of work okay that worked well enough i'll say
got all the glitter on the bottom. That's pretty. This one is quite floral, so I think this one might not be my favorite scent I've ever melted. But when I got the Coraline box, there wasn't a ton of scents that I liked, so I didn't hate this one, so I kept it. Okay, I'm covered in blue glitter. I gotta get this off. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut my love of my life. Make up your mind. And I love cutting birdies wax. It's literally butter deliciousness. Literally so smooth. So easy to cut. Uh, it literally like never does it not make my mouth water when I smell it. I'm just obsessed. But okay, everybody, that is everything for this melting basket wax empties chopping wax moment. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then give the video a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.